Welcome to this Photoshop demo. This is Aaron from PhotoshopDemos.com and today I want to show you about creating your own custom brushes. Um, I just had a recent request about creating custom brushes and um, you know it's, it's probably one of those things that I think that a lot of people um, maybe they're just used to using the custom ones in Photoshop maybe they just don't have the time or the understanding of doing it but it's actually a really basic process and you can get some very powerful powerful effects and I'm going to show you really quick here um, a brush that I just created that is really unique um, and I'll go ahead and uh, cr look at my layers here create a new layer now this brush right off the bat when I when you look at it this is the actual shape that I've created well it doesn't really look that exciting right well what you can do is you can actually change the shapes that you create by simply coming up to window and then brushes and then further tweaking your specific brush so I'm I'm currently on this brush and I'm gonna turn on dual brush I can turn on scattering um, texture basically when I click on this I can go in here and then adjust um, anything that I feel that I want to just to kind of get the right kind of a brush effect um, that I'm looking for. So you can see that very quickly um, this is turning into um, a very interesting kind of brush. I've got a lot of nice um, uh, th like really three-dimensional edges um, to this particular brush giving it some really great look here. Um, I'm just gonna play with this just for another second um, just to really get the exact kind of look that I want here. Um, just kind of playing here a bit. Can change this up a little bit. And you can really just depending on what you do and how the settings are there's some really amazing control that you can get very quickly just by shifting um, some of these options and um, you'll see that just by changing even some of the things in the drop down boxes that you'll actually get some really great shape and dimension to your brushes um, I'm gonna go ahead and twist that up just a little bit and make that a little bit skinnier so this is my brush now, okay? This is the brush that I've created. I'm gonna go ahead and close that out for a moment. So now that, that previous brush that I had that didn't really look that exciting, now it's starting to look really cool. Like I'm really liking the fact of how it's creating this kind of unique um, edge as I go in and paint. I've got this sort of um, cross-hatching kind of effect going on. And so depending on you know what kind of picture you're working on, um, if you're looking for some kind of grunge sort of look, you can do all kinds of interesting colors in here um, and then continue working on different layers and, and really changing this up quite a bit just to get some really interesting um, you know, looks and, and textures and all kinds of different stuff. So um, that's, that's a really quick little tutorial on the power of the brushes. Now let me show you how I went about actually getting that um, actual effect. So we started off with a brand new blank canvas. I came up here to my standard brushes and um, I actually used the standard Photoshop brush hardness at um, 100% and the master diameter I started off somewhat kind of big here like that. And I'm going to create a new layer actually for my brush. I'm going to make sure that this is black. I'd always recommend just make sure it's black or some shade of gray if you want it to be a slightly more transparent. Basically we're going to start by just clicking once and starting off with that shape. You can also use the, um, the elliptical marquee, uh, marquee tool if you want to just make a, a general circle. But that's just the quickest way to do it with the brush. Now I'm going to come up to um, my filter and I'm going to go into the um, there's a couple filters in here that are actually kind of interesting and I'm going to go into pixelate and mosaic and you can see you kinda of get that kind of effect but there's another thing you can do is you come up into artistic and when you come up into this area you can actually get into all your other um, 
into all your other shapes here. So in this particular one, I use stained glass. And you can adjust how you want the stained glass to look. And then I just adjust the border thickness just a little bit more. And then I just brought the luminosity up just a little bit like that. So that's actually what I started off with. And then I did um, filter and then blur and motion blur. Okay, And I just added just a little bit of motion blur um, to this uh, horizontal plane here. Not too much really at all just enough just to kind of give it sort of an interesting effect and then I hit OK and then to actually create the brush you're going to select your rectangle marquee tool go ahead and get really tight around the corners as close as you can just like that and then come up to um, edit and do define brush preset you'll get this box here and you can go ahead and name your brush so this is going to be um, a brush I'm going to just call it brush 2 and hit OK. Now you might think that nothing happened but in fact it did if you then use your paintbrush tool and then click back here to your um, little arrow that brings up your brush presets come down here and look there's 109 that's the brush I just created okay you can see right here if I click I'm gonna get rid of that marquee for a second and I click you'll see that's the exact shape that I just created I could use that to paint and once again that's really dull um, I, I think the edge, the edge here is really interesting, but it's not really enough for the effect that I want to go for. So that's why I then took the new layer and then created my um, window, and then I'm going to go into um, brushes and then play with these little areas, um, kind of tweaking them just enough to get them to really look the exact way. That I that I want them to be, um, so that's exactly how I created this brush. So go ahead and try that out in Photoshop. There's a lot of really cool things that you can do with customizing brushes, especially when you go into some of these options and you start changing some of the settings. Um, you'll see that it starts getting very powerful, and um, you you really get a whole great range of different dynamic shapes and. Um, you can do everything from photo edges to um, um, you know textures for artwork, really anything. And uh, so um, even get some dynamic shades going on in there. You can see I added some smudging effect. So when I go in there and paint, I actually get a little bit of this kind of multicolor gray and black. Um, so you can very, very quickly create some very cool painted effects. So that's how you use brushes, customize brushes. Um, hope that tutorial was um, fun and insightful for you. Go ahead and try it out, Photoshop CS3. This is Aaron from PhotoshopDemos.com.